Okay, I'm redoing my Boy Meets World recap uh, because I forgot to talk about Mr. Feeney. How did I forget to talk about him? He is the best teacher of all time. So that's, now that's uh, finally talked about him. Oh my god. But my favorite character is Sean. He was played wonderfully by writer Sean. Such a talented, talented person. Um, and then I love Eric, my second favorite character, who Wilfred Dell is so funny and he is like so underappreciated as a comedic actor. He is hilarious. Um, even in interviews, he's hilarious. So he's just I'm so glad he got to play Eric because he was Eric. He's Eric. He's nobody else could have delivered those lines the way he did with such comedic timing. Like, oh my god, he cracks me up every single time. I, in every episode, I'm like dying of laughter because of him. Um, and then I'm quite Mr. Feeney, William Daniels, in 91 now. And I'm kind of sad. But uh, he is, again, the best teacher of all time. Um, and then I love um, Frankie. Played <laughs> by Ethan Supley. I think that's how you say his last name. I don't really know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. But I love Frankie. I love Angela. I love Topanga. I love um, Amy and, and Alan. Sometimes I don't agree with them, but I do agree with them most of the time. Um, the younger Lee Morgan, the first Morgan I like. I don't like the second Morgan too much. Um, I love Stuart Minkus, <laughs> Mr. Turner, Chet Hunter. Um, I'm not a big fan of Jack or Rachel to be quite honest. But I know they had to somehow get Sean out of his dad's trailer because the actor who played his father is also on home improvement and he has uh struggling with balancing both and he was died in season six. So yeah, they're trying to get uh Sean to, you know to be somewhere else because the actor wasn't going to be able to be on the show with him as much or at all after that after he moved into jack so yeah uh it made sense but why they had to like make up a family member because he had to have somewhere to go um but at the same time i don't like jack i don't care much about him um it's funny because, you know, you're watching the show and you're like, oh my god, Chet just stay, but then the actor in real life could not do it. He couldn't do that. He couldn't. He was on two shows. That's why he wasn't on Boy Meets World as much as he probably would have wanted to be. Um, but I love Chet. And I love the fact that they wrote him as an op absent father because of the fact the actor was so busy with uh, two shows, so it kind of worked in their favor that they could write these really emotional scenes with Sean and uh, his feelings towards his father and his mom. And, like, it was... It, the writing was so good, and there's so many moments that are relevant today. Um, Check Like Me is a very important episode about consent and sexual harassment and it's still important to today um i do not like cory and topanga as a couple at all um i used to when i was younger but now that i'm older he's such a loser and she could have done better and she was smarter than him and i feel like after they got together her personality was just cory like that's all she was up for, was to be with Corey. And that upsets me because in the first two seasons, she's such an activist. She's such a feminist icon. Like, honestly, she was so strong and so confident. She had all these morals and beliefs. And and then she got with Corey, and I feel like they're like, oh, she grew up. But that doesn't mean you completely abandon everything that you think or believe in. Like, completely. I know that you have to grow and, like, she might have grown out of it eventually. But I don't see her growing out of her activism that she was do a part of. Or 
the feminist movement that she cared so much about. Like, I don't see her giving that up or anyone giving that up just because they grow up. Like, I would think it would just get bigger. Her activism would get bigger and her feminism would get bigger because she's older. Um... But that's just me. Um, I love Sean and Topanga though. Now I'm not Sean and Topanga, Sean and Angela. Oh my god. But I do like Sean and Topanga though. <laughs> Their uh, friendship is really cute. Um, it's really strong. I love, again, I mean, Sean is perfect. He's perfect. He gets along with everybody and then life has chemistry with everybody. But again, uh, but yeah, Sean and Angela, is they're my favorite couple. And then uh, Amy and Alan are really great together. Um, what else? Oh, um, I, Sean and Corey have the best friendship on, in TV history. Like, as a boyfriend and as a husband and as a son and as a human being, Corey is kind of a failure as a person, (laughs) if I'm quite honest, being honest. I mean, he does have funny moments. Uh, Ben Savage is a funny person, so he does have really good comedic moments but as a boyfriend he's not that great um but as a friend he's amazing he's like the best friend anyone could ever have and like um and I like the that I do appreciate about the show is that they're like oh yes Corey loves Topanga but at the end of the day he needs Sean in his life more than he needs her and I've always felt, I've always liked that about the show. Like, they're like, oh yes, he's in love with Topanga, but Sean is the number one person in his life always. And and I, and I think that's such an important message that we don't really see on TV, especially teen shows, where it's like, their best friend is more important than their girlfriend. And I think that's a very important thing to show. It's like, yes, uh, he loved Topanga, I guess. But at the end of the day, the person that he needs in his life the most is Sean. And that is it's just a nice um, way that they... Their relationship was just important. It was really important. And uh, Sean was such a self-destructive person. He had so much baggage, so much, ex- such so many issues uh, going on. And Corey just kind of chilled him out. Didn't save him. Didn't run after him. Didn't try to fix his life much. Um, kind of let Sean fall apart and then he would show up and fix it that and that is such a beautiful friendship to me where it's like he's like okay Sean you're gonna do whatever you're gonna do and I'm gonna just let it happen and then we'll pick it up from there (laughs) take care of it then uh after it's all messed up um and that's it's such a great friendship to me. I don't know. I just love them. Um, what else? I'm trying not to forget anything now because I forgot, uh, a lot, but Chet and uh, Sean, they're my favorite, uh, father's, like, parent child relationship. I mean, there is only Amy and Alan and the, uh, as well, and I love them as well, but I love Chet. I love Imperfect Parents on TV show. That just makes it so much more interesting to me. Not that Amy and Alan were, like, perfect parents, but compared to Chet, they were. Um, but Chet was just... He tried really hard, and he loved Sean so much. And he had a great relationship when he was there. <laughs> Uh, I feel like they were really, like, best friends, and they could talk about things, um, like, adults, and I just really liked them, and I love Chet, I love Chet, as complicated as he was, he was also a very loving person towards his kids, he loved his kids, um, but... 
that all now. Uh, Josh was a mistake. Sorry. She didn't have been born. That was a weird storyline. Um, what else? Uh, I love that Mr. Feeney got remarried and that, uh, William Daniels was, ma uh, was William Daniels' real life wife. They've been married for over 60 years, which is really good. Um, that all now. <laughs> Yes, I think that's it. I love Eric. Eric, I'm sad that he ended up by himself, but that's cool. Um, oh, the Tommy storyline I wasn't into. Uh, what else? The cult storyline. Ryder wasn't into that storyline at all. Um, but yeah, again, that is all. Goodbye.